Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be opening up a box of 2021-2022 Series 2. Got Patty Kane on the front. Uh, here's some of the odds on the back if you really want to pause and see. Hopefully we pull some heat in here. Never opened up Hobby before, so this will be a first. Let me uh, do the little flip that they always do over here. Punch this cardboard through. Yeah, I've only uh, opened up blaster boxes. And um, how's this going? Ah, Tux, there you go. Wow, always want to do that. But just never actually have hobby stuff to open. Okay, so I usually just buy singles cards on eBay or Comp C or at card shows and uh yeah me uh not block Hughes out of that. I'm gonna put him side by side. The pre well he's the present now. He's still the present too. Hopefully uh Hughes could have half the career uh Patty Kane has had. Alright yeah so I never really um open up hobby. It's usually just uh like I said blaster boxes and uh Singles cards. I usually singles cards like all the time on eBay or Comp C. So, um, yeah. Sorry if it takes me a little bit to open up each pack. Um, I don't want to damage anything on the inside. Because you never know what's in here. So, let's get the first pack going. Um, Alright. Pack number one. We have Zach Aston Reese. Put the base off to the side. Mike Smith. Arturi Lekkinen. Boo. We got a former devil. Um, Kevin Rooney. Let me see. I believe it's the fourth one down. So, Brandon Tanev on the Kraken. Colton Pareko. That's a canvas card. Uh, Alex Ovechkin. Shout out to... My boy Phil in Minnesota, you'll be getting that one. And the first one hit is a canvas of Jacob Slavin. Let me see. Sorry, I'm filming this on my phone, so hopefully it uh, it comes out pretty decent to quality. All right, I'm gonna sleeve pretty much every uh, hit, and if it's good, it's gonna get a top loader. But everything I'll throw on a sleeve. On to pack number two. It's uh, only one pack down. That was a little bit of a bummer of a pack right there. Nothing crazy. It's, not everything is going to be good in this. This isn't like some high-end product. So you can get good stuff in here. Shit, there's, shit, there's stuff in here that is really hard to get. That's worth a lot. But uh, let's see what pack two has got. Crystal Tang. Dylan Dube. Dube, Dube. Anthony Duclair. Oh, we got a Young Guns canvas of Cole Selinger right there. A, a canvas black of Cole Selinger. Uh, the rest of the pack is Rupe Hints. Braden Point. Tyson Yost. Well, I got to make sure that well, you should be able to see all the cards if I hold my hand there. I don't want to not get it on video. And we got Dylan Larkin. So, that is definitely worthy of a top loader. Uh, Sillinger, he had a really good rookie season. Um, he's the son of former NHL player Cole Sillinger. Um, yeah, he had a good rookie year. Jumped right into the NHL last year. And um, this year he's struggling a little bit. Blue Jackets are not having a good season. But um, he is a good prospect. Uh, you know, it's going to take some time. Sophomore slumps. They happen, unfortunately. Player comes in young, picks up numbers, and, and next season you're expecting more, and sometimes they regress a little bit with the point totals, but it happens. So Yanni Kuokkanen, former devil, now playing overseas. Uh, Radic Vasca, Foxa. Start pulling from the back here. Kevin Fiala of the LA Kings, but... 
Minnesota Wild jersey right there. Mark Stone, one of my favorite players. Uh, who do we got here? Rudolph Balsers. Oh, we got a Young Guns, and I'm liking what I'm seeing with that Young Gun right there. And yes, Quentin Byfield. Oh man, two good Young Gun hits already, and we're three packs in. Um, you guys know Quentin Byfield was the second overall pick in the 2020 draft. He hasn't uh, really progressed too great since being drafted. Um, he's still super young. I think he's only 20 years old still. Uh, that one's probably going to need a top loader. Um, I'll throw one in there after the video is over. Wow, Quentin Byfield. Awesome pull. Uh, yeah, he's super young. Um, he was injured, I believe, in the two seasons he's played for the Kings uh, organization uh, down in the minors. I believe he broke his ankle last year. Uh, right now... I think he's getting minutes with the Kings. He might have gotten sent down, but the kid still has a lot of potential. It's hard to find players of that size with, with that skill set right there. And, yeah, um, I'm pretty pumped with that, Paul. I like that. Um, value might not be too high for him right now, but that is, that's definitely something to hold on to right there. All right, so pack number four, Casey Middlestat, Connor Hellbuck. Might win the Vezina this year. He's having a great year. Casey Sezikas. And I'll start pulling from the back right here. Matt Nieto. Johan Larson. I'll try to move through the base a little bit quicker. Uh, Andre Burkowski of the Kraken. Stanley Cup champion with the Capitals. And the Avalanche. All right. And what do we got here? Feels like a canvas. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have this card already. But uh, a second one isn't bad. Um, well, we'll put them back here. Oh, now this one's going to fall. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. All right. Uh, he'll still stand up somehow. Come on. There you go. Watch, he's going to fall and knock this down later. Uh, but uh, I'll put this one back. There you go. Um, yeah, Jack Hughes, he's my boy. I got, I think, 60 of his cards right now. I'll wind up putting that one on my on my walker at work. Um, I've, I've got, like, hockey cards taped in my walker. And if I got two of those, I might as well throw one up in my... Make use of the second one, because I got another one. And a top loader. Right. Nino Niederreiter. Romanov. A lot of people on different teams, man. And this is all from last season. Uh, Ricard Raquel, this one was the fourth one down. Okay, we got a canvas of Andre Vasilevsky. Good goalie. We got Leon Dreisaitl. I really don't have many of his cards. Shattenkirk, uh, Matt Duchesne, and Aaron Ekblad. All right, so sorry, guys, if it's taking me a little bit. Eight minutes, and I'm only a couple packs in, but I'll try to pick it up. I don't really do this often, so hope you guys enjoy, you know, the slow build, I guess, and the commentary. These packs open super easy. I know I'm probably making it look like they don't, but all right. So Mika, uh, quality control for these are actually pretty good. Corners are sharp, which is always good, but uh, you never know what you're going to get with upper deck. Miko Rantanen. Andrew Kopp, I think, uh, what do we got here? Klingberg, man, so many guys on different teams. Connor Brown, yeah, I think he's playing with the Panthers. Uh, I see an OPG card, so ooh, Quinn Hughes, I'll take that one. Uh, Quinn Hughes at PC, the second most out of all the cards. Uh, so Brady Kachuk, two-time Stanley Cup champion, Matthew Joseph, Matteo Joseph, and Jake Lecision, Blue Border, OPG. Mm, it's a rookie, too. Okay. It's not... I'm a pretty big fan of Platinum. And uh, Lecision's a decent prospect. I'm pretty sure he's a son of a former NHL player. A uh, decent one. At least it's got a Blue Border. But he's not some crazy prospect. 
but whatever. Can't win. Not everything's going to be good in this. 24 packs. I feel like... Hopefully I didn't get too good of stuff too early. But uh, we'll see. So we got Kyle Ogposo. Jonathan Taze. Jake Gardner. Patrick Laine. Good player right there. Brock Nelson. And we got a Tanner, well, Anze Kopitar. Tanner Wazinski. Marky Rookie. Okay. These Opeachy cards are really light. All right. Another pack. Let's go. People are probably watching me open these like, wow, this guy is pretty bad at this. Probably going to ruin the cards. No, I'm not trying to damage any corners. All right, I'll take this one. Matt Barzell, one of my favorite players right there. Michael Rasmussen, Nathan McKinnon, Steven Stamkos. We got Valerian Nikushin, Mitch Marner. Wow, a lot of stars in this one. Kaylor Yamamoto, and the hit is a Carey Price Superstar Honor Roll. And Price is not a bad player. Hopefully he comes back from injury and he plays again before he, he eventually retires. Getting up there in age. Sure. Well... I would think the Habs might retire his number. I'm not sure. All right. Phil Pronick. Alec Martinez. Oh, yes. Woo! <laughs> I have nothing McDavid, and I was honestly hoping I would pull this card after seeing it. And I got a Lundell Young Guns. Wow. Already got an Anton Lundell Young Guns card, but Wow. Oh, we got Granlin, Gergensons, and Andre Antonisiu. Wow. Oh. All right, so Lundell I have. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can see how pumped I am because I never really buy this stuff. Never really get to pull packs. A Connor McDavid NHL Passages. This is a sick card right here. It's got uh, McDavid. It, it's at, basically, it has a player uh, over the years from the rookie year on the left all the way up until uh, last season right there. It's an acetate card, too. And, um, wow, this is this is really cool. Uh, when I was at the hobby uh, shop uh, picking this up, I was... Um, that's definitely going to need a top loader, man. I have, like, nothing McDavid, surprisingly. I pulled uh, like an MVP um, card of McDavid uh, like with a suit on and, and like in his game gear, um, and that and that's literally it. And I got like one MVP rookie uh, base like card of his, not even rookie. It's like from last season. This is awesome. I'm I don't know what this is worth. I, I mean, this card probably isn't worth a ton of money, but these aren't really too easy to pull, and it's McDavid. So I'm gonna assume. Maybe if you get Crosby or Ovechkin, it could be probably more because they've been around longer. But uh, I feel like this needs to be like uh, on display in the back. I guess I don't know. I'm 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 just pumped. I got that. Wow. <laughs> I got to see what the odds are for that. Probably I don't know. Maybe one in a cup. Maybe like one in a hundred pulls. I don't really want to stop the video and add more time. But uh, Esso Lindell, Samsonov, Marco Scandell. Hey, we got the same first name, and I see the card already. It's a Jordan Bennington canvas with a Victor Olofsson, Robert Thomas, Nick Paul, and Kyle Connor. Ooh, I like Kyle Connor. Okay, so... Another canvas card. Love the photography uh, for these cards. Um, the canvas ones usually have like like pretty cool like headshots or 
like interesting stuff, you know, more so than the typical, like, you know, pictures of like a player like that, like in action. Um, like that canvas card that he was back there was really cool because it's, they got the reverse retro jersey on, but, um, you know, they're usually just different. But uh, one thing I noticed with, with Series 1 for 2023, 2022-2023, uh, is that they've definitely uh, put a, an emphasis on big photos for the cards. Um, Robbie Fabry, Ryan McDonough, John Marino, now on the Devils. We got Tom Wilson. I know some of the uh, breakers uh, hate him. You know, he could be a little bit of a pain in the ass on the ice with his questionable hits. Hampus Lindholm, and I uh, see we got, looks like a superstar honor roll. Um, another carry price card. And who's it going to be for this one? Ooh, we got Shane Pinto. Okay, so this is a rookie one. Uh, not bad. I mean, if you're going to get anybody in these, you're going to want to get this, the, uh, they have short print versions of these and whatnot, but um, it doesn't hurt to get a rank, uh, rookie card, another rookie. Shane Pinto's a good one. Guys are really good goal scorers so far. Ottawa's rebuilding, and he's definitely a good player that you're going to want out there in the top six. All right, so we got Christian Fisher, Phil Heedle, Heedle, Scott Lawton, and we got another Ranger. Uh, okay, uh, Eberle, Neil Pionk, former Ranger. Jordan Cairo, and we got Maxime Comtois. All right. Uh, well, he's not even on the Rangers anymore. He's a star, but whatever. Decent player. Um, let me go and let's dive into this one. Damn, this is addicting. Uh, Blaster boxes are cool, but Hobby has much better stuff. All right, I see a Dazzler. Uh, this might have more than one. Uh, I've seen numerous times where a Dazzler has an extra insert card in it, so we'll see what happens. All right, so we got Calvin DeHaan, Andrei Svechnikov. We got Zach Cassian. I'll start pulling from the back. Oliver Wallstrom, Lawson Kraus, Ivan Provorov. Elias Lindholm, and who's going to Dazzler going to be? Hopefully it's a rookie. It's not. It's Nikolai Ehlers, and uh, I'll take it. The Dazzler's card is definitely one of my favorites. When I got into the hobby uh, two years ago, the Dazzler's cards were one of the ones that really caught my eye, watching people uh, rip stuff, and I have a good amount of them in the uh, the collection. I try to get them. For the uh, players I collect, because I think they're really cool looking cards, and uh, I wound up pulling a purple dazzler from uh, that bad boy right there. There was a factory error. You're supposed to get three purple dazzlers. I somehow got six, and I got six young guns instead of three, and uh, I got a Lucas Raymond purple dazzler out of that thing, and a Mason McTavish young guns, and that that uh. Raymond Dazzler's card's got to be worth like 50 to 75 bucks. Um, it's hard to find on eBay. And somebody paid that much when I looked up the previous sales. But here we go. Barbashev, Brodeen, Couture, Braden McNabb, pull from the back, Tyler Bertuzzi, Igor Shesterkin. Devil's got four goals past him today with that come from behind win. Whoops, a little mess up right there. Connor Murphy. And we got uh, a Mark Andre Fleury. OPG base. I really don't know why they throw these in here. Really don't know um, anybody that doesn't like this guy. Fleury is a class act. Awesome uh, goalie. Definitely, I'm pretty sure he's definitely going to be going to the Hall of Fame with three Stanley Cups to his name. So, 
That's him with the Blackhawks after that partial season he played. All right. Um, P.K. Subban, retired. Matthew Highmore, two-time Stanley Cup champion Matt Murray. And we got a Young Guns. We got a Brandon Duhame Young Guns card. I believe we get six in a box. Uh, what was that? Sam Gagne, Eric Carlson, Anthony Bavillier, and Nikolai Ehlers. Okay, so that's Young Guns number three. Maybe uh, somehow we can get more than six. Right now, we're sitting at Byfield. Um, we're sitting at what? Byfield, Duhame, and then that Cole Cylinder canvas. So, not sure how many canvas uh, cards you get. Canvas Young Guns. I, I know we should be getting a clear cut in here. Uh, I think we got our one Dazzlers card. The Dazzlers used to be a little bit more common, but now I believe you only get one a box, which is kind of unfortunate. But, um... You know, we'll see what else we get, but I'm pretty sure you, I think you get like four canvas cards or so. Uh, I'm not sure if the Young Guns count as that, but we'll see. TJ Oshi, Jake Muzzin, Jared Anderson Dolan, Alex Petrangelo. I'll start pulling from the back here. Brock Besser, David Pasternak. Back to back goal scorers right there. Mika Zinbinajad. And we got another one of those Opeachy uh, cards. Uh, at least it's a rookie, I guess. Matthew Phillips. I don't... Uh, I think he's got some games for the Flames. I don't think he's going to really be too much at the NHL level. Uh, it kind of sucks when you get those cards. Well, stay up, Connor. You get those... Sometimes you get these boxes and you don't really pull anything great. You're, you're going to get some good stuff here and there. You never really know, but, man, those OPG cards are just a boss. And they're a bummer when you pull those. Uh, Ryan Hartman. Alexander Barkov, one of my favorites right there. Austin Matthews. Oh, we got Jan Yannick uh, for the Young Guns. He's not too bad. Yegor Sharangovich. Connor Sherry. Former two-time Stanley Cup champion with the Penguins. Oh, Evgeny Malkin. He's got three. And last one is Patrick Maroon. He won three Stanley Cups in a row. All right. Uh, Yannick's not bad. I think the uh, Coyotes are not at the bottom of the standings this year like everybody thought they would be. Um, I think Yannick's been having an okay season this year. Uh, his upside's probably a second liner. Not really too sure number wise what he'd put up. Maybe like a like a twenty five goal, thirty assist guy or forty. Maybe like a sixty point player. I could see him being. Uh, I think the Coyotes are going to be pretty good though in the future. He should be a piece of that team in the next couple years. He's definitely going to be sticking around. But there's going to be some great guys coming through there. Uh, Sam Steele. Dante Fabro, start pulling from the back. Ilya Mikheyev, Dmitry Orlov, that's going to you, Phil. Every Caps card in here is going to you. I, it looks like it's a Portraits card. Sean Couturier, and behind Owen Tippett is Bowen Byram. PC Bowen Byram, I'll take that. And we have R2 Ristolainen, and it's a rookie. He's a decent player. I like the portraits cards. I think they're pretty cool. I mean, there's probably... I, th I think there's the gold version in here. They could get... They are what they are. All right. Fill the thrill. This base pile is getting pretty high on the side over here. Tyson Berry... Oliver Bjorkstrand, just so many guys that are just not on so much turnover this last summer. Uh, Nikita Zaitsev, Alex Kalorn, looks like we got another portraits card, Zach Whitecloud, and who's it going to be? We got another rookie, and it's Jake Lecision, so 
two uh, Jake Lecision cards in here. You got five packs left. And this video is almost at 30 minutes. I apologize. Anybody who uh, did not hit the skip button at any point, uh, appreciate that. And if you did, it's fine. All right. Joe Pavelski, Jonathan Quick, Ilya Sorokin, uh, Alex Texier, Brady Skay, Shea, Kirby Doc. We got a marquee rookie back there, Robin Leonard. And then behind Texier, we got Jake Neighbors. Okay. He's all right. This card is not going to be worth much. All right, so yeah, the box kind of has been a little bit front loaded so far. I'm trying to think. Got four packs left. Got my. Still need a couple of young guns cards. I only got three. Hopefully, I don't get gypped on those. We'll see. Where I, my math is off. So either got three or four. All right, Ilya, Ilya Labushkin, Chris Drieger, Rocco Grimaldi, and another one of these Opeachy cards. Mark Stahl, Barrett Hayton, Max Pacioretty, and Frank Vitrano. All right. There's three packs left, and uh, let's just hope we can end this out good. It started really well. Um, it's been a decent box so far. Couple good pulls. See a checklist in the back. All right. Damon Severson. I don't have that one of him. Jason Spezza. Ryan Getzlaff. The checklist is McKinnon and Dreisaitl. Uh, I'll throw that in a sleeve later. Uh, Brandon Carlo. What do we got in here? Well, we got a Young Guns. Mark Giordano, please be something good. Let's see. Benoit Olivier Giroux, okay. This is the guy that when people think they might be getting a Zegris, this seemed to be the guy that would be popping up all the time. And I instantly knew when I saw that card that it wasn't um it wasn't gonna be Trevor Zegris, but where's my I lost my sleeves over here. All right, we got two left. Um, let me do a quick little count of the young guns. I really want to know how many I got so far. I got one, two, three, four. All right, it says I get six. Can these last two be young guns, the ones that are buried on the bottom? I don't know if Upper Deck uh, does that. Intentionally, probably not. Be cool if they did. All right, Paul Stastny, Hayden Flurry, Drake Batherson, Yusuf Almaki, Brian Rust. Matt Dumba, and what's this going to be? Uh, Tyler Mott. Okay, let me do a, go through those real quick. I'm pretty sure one of those are the French cards. Stastny was the first one. Um, let me see. Probably easier to tell from the back. Upper Deck, Series 2. It's weird. Let me see. Oh, here it is. It's uh, Rudolph Balser's right here. That's the uh, French card right there. Cool. All right. I didn't get any clear-cut cards, so I'm hoping that 
could have sworn you get one. Uh, that might count as the clear cut, actually, right there. The NHL passages. So I guess technically I did get a clear cut acetate, whatever. Which I'll certainly take that one. All right, last pack. Hopefully this is a good one. Henry Yokoharu. I need one more Young Guns card, I believe. So hopefully this is a Young Guns. Dustin Brown. Start pulling from the back. Wayne Simmons. Michael McLeod. Uh, Tebu Teravainen. Starting to get... All right, it's a Young Guns. And I'm hoping... Uh, well, it's a goalie. Andrew Mondrapane. I don't think Swayman's in this one, but we'll see. All right, Ivan Provostov. So it wasn't even... Uh, what's his face? Velmelk, Vejmelka. All right. I would say that that was a decent box right there. Um, we'll do a quick recap. All right, let me uh, get the cards ready. We got a French card. We got our Young Guns. Yeah, um, this was fun. And I definitely want to, <laughs> I, I kind of want to get more of these. Um, but at the same time, they're not really too cheap. This one was like 85, which isn't bad. Uh, I winded up getting some decent stuff in here. Um, some stuff I've doubled on, I guess now. Uh, let me see. Just putting the cards together for the recap. All right, so... Let's see, we'll get the young guns in the back. All right, so we'll start it off. We got that Hughes canvas. Jacob Slavin canvas. The Vasilevsky. Bennington, cool cards. The one Dazzlers. I kind of wish he got more of these, but uh, Nikolai Ehlers. Our French card was Rudolph Balsers. I'm, I'm going to assume that, well, we got our two portraits cards. They're both rookie cards. We got Lecision, R2 Ristolainen, Jake Lecision, Blue Border, LPG Rookie, Tanner Lozinski, Nils Lindquist. And then we got Marc-Andre Fleury. And then another rookie was Matthew Phillips. Another Tanner Wazinski. And we got Jake Neighbors. And the two superstar honor rolls. They both look like they're regular ones. Um, we got Carey Price. And we got a rookie of Shane Pinto. And then Lundell, I already got this card. Uh, hopefully it goes up. He's having an okay second year. But we got Anton Lundell. Brandon Duhame, decent bottom sixer for the Wild. Jan Yenick of the Coyotes. Benoit Olivier Giroux of the Ducks. Ivan Provostov. And then our best hits. Um, we got Quinn Byfield right there. Um, he's going to need a top loader for sure. That's a good pull. Got Quentin in the uh, top loader right there. And then I'm going to put this one in a top loader. I don't have any on me right now. But uh, I would say Cole Sillinger canvas is not a bad card to pull. And it's the black one. I'm pretty sure these are the ones that are a little bit harder to pull. But the best pull of the box. I was pumped and I got this. Is this NHL Passages of McDavid. Anytime you could pull something McDavid, it's always good. This is just a really cool card, um, and I'm going to try to get more of his stuff uh, you know, on eBay or whatever, but you guys know what it's like with McDavid and, and, and buying his cards. Um, his rookie stuff is just super expensive, and uh, you know, if you have any of his rookie stuff, that's, that's awesome. Um, hold on to it because he's just getting, he's getting better. And you know he's going to be a Hall of Famer for sure. Hopefully he can get a cup, but uh, at some point in his career, whether it's with Edmonton or not. But um, yeah, I 
for some reason, I just had a feeling that I was, I just wanted to pull this thing. Like, I don't know. It was, I was looking on the box. Is it on here somewhere? Where did I see it? I can't remember where I saw it, man. Like, I guess it was on one of the checklists when I was looking it up at the, at the hobby store, like online, like looking up on cardboard connection, but whatever. Glad I pulled this. Um, decent box. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I know it was a little bit long of a video and I, you know, rambled on at some points, but don't really do this too often. So I didn't want to just fly through the packs and, uh, and whatnot. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, Thumbs up if you want. Uh, you could subscribe, but I I don't really know when the next video I'm going to post is going to be. Maybe I'll do a a collection recap of of what I've gotten so far in the two two ish years uh, collecting. But um, you know, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, have a good one. Uh, you know, keep at it, man. I love this hobby. I love I love the community out there, and and uh, it's pretty tight knit. It's fun, and uh, yeah, go out there and and buy some stuff, man. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Have a good day. Later.